What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use modular characters with different body parts to join them into a full character. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so let's go into our third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you have. So basically right now here we have just a single mesh which contains the whole body and of course the uh, animator. Now, for this video, I'm gonna be using this uh, basically free model character pack from the marketplace. Uh, I will basically will leave it in the description if you guys want to use it. So we go into models, you can see that we have different body parts. We also have the pre-made character, which are full, but if you want to customize them, like for example, have this head, but a different type of, uh, I don't know, even beard or um, shirt or whatever, you can do so with the different parts. So basically what we have to do is go into our main mesh and basically change this to be, for example, the head. I recommend it to be the head. Now, maybe it's not called the head, maybe it's just called mesh. So let's just apply mesh over here. So right now we just have this head over here. And of course the animator will now work for it right now, okay? Um, so what we have to do right now is to add different body parts into it. As simple as that is used to basically just duplicate this. So control D and then put, for example, body, well, upper body and just drag it on here and then go into here and then uh, change the name. So for example, in this case, for me, it will be, uh, let's see where it is on here. For example, you can put this jacket on and there we go. And you'll see that as it is child of the mesh, which in this case is our head, and it's set to 000, so very important, everything has to be reset here, it will be perfectly matching up. So basically duplicate it and do the same, but with, I mean, in this case, lower body. So let's go ahead and do so. Lower body with one R, there we go. And now we find here our lower body, which in this case is here. For example, put this pants on. You can see very important, it has to be child of the main mesh. And then also everything on um, reset it. And then we just have a few more things. So uh, I think that we have, well, we have the hands and uh, we can add accessories, okay. So the main thing will be just the hands really left over. So we can just duplicate this hands and then here find the hands which are on here, great. So now everything is set. And I can now go and apply an animator. In my case, I have this animator in here which will animate the character. Basically, this character uses the Unreal Engine 4 uh, blueprint skeleton. So what I, sorry, skeleton. So what I did is just go into characters, go into mannequins and go into animations. And you just got money, right click and retarget the animations from uh, UE5 to UE4 and that's it. Okay, the animations will perfectly match. That's what I did and I just renamed it to be uh, in this case survivor. Okay um, So you will see that if we apply the animator to only the top part of the mesh It will only of course animate the head as you can see everything works but For the head only so now we have to do it for the um, basically hands and so on but we don't have to go and for example select the upper body and then put again survivor okay we don't have this uh we don't have to do this for multiple reasons okay the main reason is that uh they will not match correctly because of different issues i mean maybe you can even already see in the kind of in the neck but if you were to properly set up a character we wouldn't you do you can kind of do this method but i don't recommend what i recommend instead is using the leader post component, okay? Also known all uh, well, a few months ago as the master post component. I just renamed it. So what I have to do is go into the construction script because this will also work while the the game is not running and you're just working editor. And then we're just gonna get the main mesh over here, okay? The parent one, and then set leader post component. So with that, uh, we have to change it to be the new leader bone component. So hold control and just drag it on here. Very important. The parent, the mesh has to be the leader bone component. And now the whole target are going to be the other stuff. So we can just go ahead and select it, drag it, just drag the target over here like that. So everything in target, we have multiple inputs, okay? But of course, the mesh, which is the parent, is the only one going on here. We don't have to touch any of the other options so now we can compile now you will see that immediately we have all the body animated without needing 
to select an animator for that specific point and most importantly everything will match up correctly okay that's the most important part if i now were to press play as you can see everything is perfect and everything perfectly works and we have different parts of the body if i were now to change this into the other for example shirt i can go ahead and do so compile and press play and everything will just work and of course you can have code in order to change the appearance of the character while you play the game and everything will just work perfectly and last but not least uh, for example about the sunglasses here so for example if i go into models and beards and so on what i recommend to do instead is just go ahead and get it drag it into the mesh or you can go ahead and duplicate it and then put it um basically just another type of um yeah how do we say it basically child yeah i don't know why the the word didn't come out i'm going to just put for example uh glasses all right as simple as that and then what we need to do is uh, instead of going on here and dragging glasses to be the target okay and put it like that okay which will also work there's another method which is directly to just go ahead and get the glasses okay we compile again it will be bad like that so and we can just anchor it into the head bone and then we can change for example a bit of the things over here to change the location and basically the thing is that this will allow us now you can see that the pivot is incorrectly and so on but basically this will allow us to change the uh, position of this so it will not be anchored but in this case as it is basically built in with the skeleton I do recommend going in here and basically adding it as another input on the leader post but if you want more control I don't know why okay so yeah the anchor so I have to remove that um the socket sorry um but if you want more control you can basically do it that way basically anchor it into the socket of the head so now you can move the glasses and so on a bit better um, but that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out, join my Discord server, and also follow me on all my socials. And now yes, well said, bye bye.